Sneako B here with the Let's Play of Yakuza 3 Remastered. Oh yeah, baby, we back, we back. I'm gonna click this because if I sit here for too long, it's probably gonna jump back to that thing again. <laughs> yes, guys, it's finally time to return to our good old boy, Daddy Kiryu. Good lord, man, it feels like it's been a while. It's it's definitely been a hot minute since we last played Kiwami 2. But as a lot of you already kind of know, the reason why I haven't really hopped back into Yakuza is honestly because of the game I played between now and Kiwami 2, and that was Judgment, which was also took place in Kamurocho and was, you know, very much basically another Yakuza game, but with a totally different protagonist and some new gameplay mechanics. Um, and as well, I did enjoy Judgment for the most part. Uh, there was definitely some aspects of it I was not a huge fan of, mainly the Kumakura or Kamakura gang or whoever, whatever they were called again, and just completely just, oh, I hated that mechanic so much. Um, and just other, like, other parts of it that really kind of burned me out a bit on, uh, these kind of Yakuza style games. I think it's been a probably about a year, maybe even over a year since I actually beat Judgment. And I feel like I'm ready now to, to hop into the next Yakuza game. I feel refreshed. I feel ready to tackle a new story with our pal Daddy Kiryu once again. I like Yagami, but I, I, I definitely have a soft spot for Kiryu, right? Especially after now playing through Zero, Kiwami 1, and Kiwami 2. He's a very likable and just kind of fun, goofy protagonist. But yeah, so we're going to be playing the remastered version that was... Uh, fairly recently released on the PS4, but I'm actually playing on my PS5. And I actually also put this on my, uh, uh, the solid state drive on my actual consoles, solid state drive. Uh, so maybe you'll help with like load times and stuff like that. But otherwise, you know, it's going to be basically a nicer looking version of the original Yakuza 3, which came out on the PS3. So I believe this has a higher frame rate than that one. And of course, you know, better anti-aliasing, probably some better textures and stuff. But overall, compared to something like, for example, Kiwami 1 or Kiwami 2, which were basically completely remade in a brand new engine, right? This is basically the same game in the same engine, but made to look a bit nicer than it did originally. Now, I believe this is actually the first First game of the Yakuza series that actually makes use of the engine that was used for Kwame 1 and also Yakuza 0. This is basically the engine they're going to be using for a lot of their games for quite a while. I mean, I could be wrong. It might be that Yakuza 0 and Kwame 1 use actually something maybe that's like a finer, refined version of this engine, but it's definitely much more along the lines than what, for example, uh, the original Yakuza 1 and 2 were, right? Those were definitely a much older dated looking engine and it was on the ps2 so of course it was that was kind of the main reason why they really decided to only make these remasters as opposed to uh full-on remakes like the kwami games were however there's actually something else that makes this version of the game extra special when this game was initially released in the west uh back on the ps3 a lot of the content was actually cut out because apparently i think the japanese thought that we weren't really going to be uh, we wasn't really something that we would enjoy. So they, they guess they just removed it. I don't know if there was some kind of censorship law or something else involved, I, but they just decided to completely remove from the game. And this is, of course, before Yakuza was uh, a big name brand, too. You know, now at, at this point, I think a lot of us, a lot of Westerners, myself included, really loved the Yakuza series. But back then it was still pretty. Its fan base was definitely more on the smaller end. Right. I guess they saw some of that extra content was not something that we would enjoy so they just completely removed it which really sucked right because basically everyone was just stuck with a neutered down version of yakuza 3 but fortunately this version includes all the content that was cut from the original game so now we actually get the full game experience that uh, the Japanese had back when this was first released so sweet <laughs> awesome I don't want to miss out on any of the cool stuff you guys have to tell me like which things got like like this wasn't in the original, you know, US version of this game or, or whatever. I don't even know if it was just the US, maybe like also like Europe and other countries too were also affected that way. And it was just Japan that had the full stuff. Uh, I don't know. You guys have to let me know when we come across it. This game is sort of interesting too, in that I, I, I have heard that this is sort of, Yakuza 3 is kind of the outlier in a lot of ways in the series. Like there definitely tend to be sort of mixed opinions on this game overall. And it's a lot of it, I think, comes down to how they handle the story. That's sort of what I've heard. And it's not so much that people thought it was bad. I think it was just thought it was very different from how a lot of other games in the Yakuza series tend to go. I don't really know exactly what that is because I didn't really want to spoil myself too much on what this story uh, entails. But I just know that there have been mixed opinions so much so that they actually made a joke about it in Kiwami 2 when 
Kiryu was like trying to help this like movie director or something, right? Like make a, a blockbuster hit movie. Um, and they talked about uh, like one of his movies, which was like the third in his series. And then like nobody liked it as much. And Kiryu was like, but I loved it. I, was, I thought it was my favorite one, which was, again, was a very meta joke because in fact, Kiryu's voice actor believes that this is actually his favorite game in the whole series. And similarly, I've heard other things. Like it's not, it's, I, I've heard people either say that they think this is the weakest game in the series. And I've heard other people say, oh, that's actually one of the strongest games in the series. So it makes me really kind of interested to see like how things are different in this game compared to so many of the other ones. I think there's a very high likelihood to the fact that, like I said, this game does seem to use a new engine that had never been done before, right? And not in one and two. So there probably were a little bit of growing pains. And for what I've also heard, this game is not a game. And I, this is something that you guys repeated to me so many times saying, Nico, whenever you do decide to do a let's play this game, don't do what you did in the previous games, which if some of you guys, some of you guys may know in the previous games, when I played through it, I played it on uh, the hardest difficulty that I could, right? Um, there's still like an extra difficulty in lock after you beat the game, but you can still play through the game on like what is hard. And then usually there's like legendary or something that comes afterwards. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that with this game. Apparently this game is really not super balanced well and can actually be incredibly frustrating on higher difficulties because one, apparently enemies have a shit ton of health and two, the enemies block a lot in this game. So if you put it on hard, it becomes an absolute just slog and battle of attrition. And it's really apparently like pretty, pretty damn unfun to play. So uh, for this one, I am gonna be just sticking with normal then <laughs> to spare myself. The reason why I sort of did the harder mode, and I don't know if I did any, I think a Yox is zero. I think I stuck with normal, but afterwards I like, I sort of learned that it's always the beginning of the game that's always the hardest for a lot of these Yaxa games. And then the stronger you get later, you just start just fucking plowing through enemies. So I, I actually started playing the games on the harder mode to make it so that that difficulty at least sort of extended a bit further into the game. But if, if it's going to make the game like super frustrating, then yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not messing around with that. So but I'm really glad to finally be able to get back into Kiryu's story to see where things continue off. I know, God, the Yakuza 7 just recently got released. Everyone's been really enjoying that. It's got a totally different protagonist, but like, I'm like, bitch, what? Yakuza 7? That's for flebs. Dude, I'm on Yakuza 3, all right? You guys need to slow down, okay? Stop making so many new games. I can't keep up with you guys. But I do remember when we last finished Kiwami 2, it was like two years ago, uh, the ending of the game was basically you defeated Ryuji, who was Kaoru's brother, um, Kaoru is the detective that helped you along in the game. You seem to have sort of a, a love interest with Kiryu. I don't know if she'll be a focus in this game or not. Of course, Haruka was there as well, who is now your adopted daughter. Uh, it was fun. I actually really did like Kiwami too. I think it's still out of all the games so far. I think Yakuza 0 is still my favorite. And then I would probably say Kiwami 2 and then Kiwami 1. So I'm going to try also my best not to judge too hard like some of the gameplay in this. Because again, I this is just a remaster of a game that had a brand new engine. So I'm imagining like... There probably is some growing pains. I don't think this game's probably going to have like what uh, what they ended up adding to Kwame One, right? Which was like the the styles that you had from Yakuza Zero. Um, I doubt this game's even going to have that. It might just be like just dragon style. All right, but without further ado, guys, uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. So yeah, definitely stick with uh, recommended for players who really have a lot of patience. <laughs> I'll go ahead and stick with uh, for normal then for this one. System data from Yaksa series has been found. Received Ukiyo ball at Bell as present. Oh, cool. Yeah. What's that do? Oh, wow. Really? Even my system data from Judgment. That's cool. Yay. Go play it. I can sell that for money. Early money. Say welcome fiction. Any resemblance to actual persons and living or dead or events is purely factual because Kiryu is real. I will not be told otherwise. Ooh, pretty. Is that Haruka? Ojisa? Yes, it is. Damn, she looks a lot older. But it might just be... The different engine. So, 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 you have no stuck or circa. I just fucking rustled this fish with my bare hands. Oh, wow, look at this new locale. 
assuming we actually stay here for any extended period of time. This is my vacation home, and then we're immediately going to go back to Kamurocho. Did I sure cure you? I like quagmire. Heck yeah. Oi, oh my tachi. Who the hell is that? Okay, clearly quite a bit of time has passed. Doshanda Nanika Tanuka. Oh Oyashika. Oyashika. Utarita. Nani? Wait, who's my boss at this point? Meanwhile, in Chinatown, Yokohama. Ha Hama. Uh. Hey. I think this guy might be new, maybe? It's gonna be a little tough for me to, uh. Oh, right, I was told to. I can't pause cutscenes. Unfortunately. I actually wonder if I... If I hit the... I'm kind of afraid to do this. If I do this... No. What about this? Wait, wait. This is a test. Does the kitchen keep going? It does. Okay. That does not work. Damn, nice flip phone, man. Sorry, That's unfortunate. I won't be able to pause, though. Kaicho. Hmm. Ima no denwa. Re no Okinawa no ikken dewa. Honto ni. ことあっていいのでしょうか。どういう意味だ。お言葉ですが、今本家は直系白鳳会の上がりでやっていけてる状態です。もしあの沖縄の一件、うちが引き受ければ、この先10年は食っていけるだけの金が本家になる。This is quite a bit of time さあ、だしてアゲン。あの男に恩を売っておけば、後々世界との強いパイプが。黙れ。だが、あの土地は奪えねえ。4代目の剣ですか。東条会は4代目に何度も救われてきた。その人から居場所を奪うことはできねえ
So I imagine the car they were talking about Kiryu, right? For all he's done for the Tojo clan. Someone's winning his office would be Kiryu too? Somebody else? I mean, this this is Tojo clan HQ. I mean, we've... I know that. We've, we have fought our way out of this place at least 10 times. I wonder how I'm to Kaoru. What the fuck is that, Wesker? Wait a minute! What? This guy's alive? Wait, is that a moan next to him? This is the unfortunate thing is because this engine is sort of different. The characters look different, so I can't totally tell if they're like the same people. Yeah, fourth chairman is Kiri, I believe. Yeah. あの土地買収の件から降りてもらうわけにはいかないんです。だが、だが俺はあの沖縄の一件もう手を引くと決めたんだ。あなたは東条会の六代目。Sixth chairman, okay. The fifth chairman was the guy that we let take control and then end up being evil and in a surprise twist, if I remember correctly. I swear to God, that guy looks like he's like part of the Moon Clan. What the hell? Oh, fuck. We just met this guy. Is he dead already? Uh, what the heck? What the hell? What happened to Kazama? Kazuma, why did you turn into such an evil asshole? Okay, I got you. Nagahara. Ow! Damn, Harka looks really different. Saki. Guessing his daughter? Did nobody see that was Kazama? Nani? Nani? That was basically Kiryu's benefactor, right? And I was pretty sure we saw him die in... I think Kawami won! I, yeah! In Kawami won, I, thought, I think we saw him die. Yeah. Yeah. We had flashbacks to him in Kwame 2. But we haven't seen him alive since Kwame 1, yeah. Huh. I'm pretty sure he Oh, okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure he literally died in my arms. <laughs> How is... Huh? How the fuck is he back from the dead? And why is he being a dickhead? He was like sort of a good... Well, sort of a good guy. He wasn't actually... When we had really... We got a sort of a better look at him in Kwame too, right? He was kind of a, a cold, merciless asshole. Or at least he used to be, right? It seemed like maybe when he was raising Kiryu and also uh, Nishiki... It was sort of his way of trying to be like a better person. He's going back to his old ways. I mean, he was. Like, he was an assassin, I believe. Wow. Damn, what well, just happened? Chapter one, new beginning. What happened to Kaoru? 
January 2007, Kamurocho, Tokyo. I'm flashing back, or is this a... Oh! Oh! Oh, here we go! <laughs> I recognize this! Damn, Kamurocho looks quite different in this game's engine. This is literally the end from the last game. Cool! Okay. Oh, okay, good. Now we can... Yay! The good news is now when these scenes happen, I can actually stop to collect my thoughts. Yeah, Kara definitely doesn't look quite as adorable in this game. I mean, she, I mean, she looks fine. She looks she, she's still pretty cute, but like... I remember the Kara from Kiwami 2 being like, holy shit, like, seems a little out of my league. That's right, and Haru... Okay, so we definitely were pretty far in time. Now Haru looks about the age that she was back then. She looked considerably older in the... In that intro there. What year? Did he even say what year it was? This is right at the end. Ryuji died. Uh, I don't even know if we ever really talked at all. I think it sort of just cut off right when Kaoru was here with the flowers. And that was like the end of the game. God, I will say, <laughs> Kiryu looks a lot thicker in this game than he did in the previous games. Even Yakuza 0 and Kwame 1. Like, think about his arms and like his proportions. Or maybe it's like his coat. Like, seriously, look how big his like hands and arms seem to be in this game. And that like coat look, seriously looks like it's maybe like two sizes too big. <laughs> I'm growing into it. And then in like Kwame 2 and like the Dragon Engine stuff, they ended up making him look a lot sort of, a lot slimmer, I think. But still, of course, incredibly fit. I can get to that later though. I assume you'd like to pay your respects to the people we've lost first. Yeah, might be nice to stop for a second and reflect on everything that's happened. All the, yeah! Are we gonna talk about the previous games? Hey, check it out. Oh my God. Wow, the camera sensitivity is insane. Uh, Please let me be able to adjust it. Oh no, I don't think I can. Oh, that's a bummer. Shit. Okay, I can't. Turn the ability to skip movies on and off. Press, oh, press the option button to skip it. Ooh, okay, now. Ah, uh, that kind of sucks. I mean, it's nice to at least give you ability if you turn it on if you wanted to skip it, but the fact that you can't pause it does kind of just kind of blow. Oh, I can't adjust the sensitivity. Seriously, this is super sensitive. Oh, oh my god. Okay, that's fine. I'll get used to it. So, so, yeah, what is up with Kiryu's arms? This this is this thing I actually remember remember kind of noticing when looking back on some of these these older games was how just ridiculous Kiryu's arms look. And I don't even know if maybe when his shirt's off, it'll look this ridiculous. It might just be the blazer. His face looks about the same, though. That's definitely, I mean, that's definitely Kiryu. Definitely look closer to what Kwame 1 was was going with. We're going to learn about what happened? Tarada, you were the one of the leaders of the Kansai Yakuza. Oh, wait a minute. I'm like, this seems kind of familiar. We actually did this before, didn't we? Didn't we do this at the beginning of Kwame 2? I think we did. I swear to God, we did this exact same thing where we could look at the the different tombstones to uh, see the people that were in the last game that died, right? And then we talked a little bit about them. Yeah, Tarada. The Tarada was the guy that we we thought was a good guy and ended up being a bad guy, which did kind of hurt because he was kind of. He seemed like he was our bro throughout the most of the game. Tarada, you're one of the leaders of the Kansai Yakuza conglomerate and was the Omi Alliance. It's about working for our rivals. You owe Kazama-san a huge debt. Led to, leading you to try and stop the Tojo clans in fighting over the missing what, 10 billion yen. After seeing the kindness and generosity in your heart, I decided to leave the Tojo clan in your hands. To protect the weakened Tojo from the Omi Alliance, you opted to call a truce with their leader, Jingoda. But it was all part of a plot to take revenge for the Jingweon massacre from over 20 years earlier, yeah! And so, you owed your life to Kazama's son. So I chose to believe you when you asked me to trust you as you died. Because you, Tarada, I learned to never give up on people, even when things take a turn for the worst. Wait. Wait, did he end up being a good guy after all? I thought he was still a piece of shit at the end. I hope someday the social clan becomes the kind of organization you always wanted to be. Until that day, that day, watch over them, please. Maybe not. <laughs> these sound effects, these are so... <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely feel more... It's definitely closer to the PS2, PS3 era. The sound design. <gasps> Nishiki! As long as I can remember, you were my friend and my brother. You were also the bad guy of the first game, but my bro in the Zero game. We were taken bo both taken in by Kazama-san at Sunflower Orphanage, and they joined a Yakuza organization called the Dojima Family, led by Patriarch Sohai Dojima. But when Yumi got kidnapped, you murdered Dojima and threw all eyes into turmoil. So I'd leave Yumi with you and spent 10 years in jail after taking the fall for the murder you committed. 
It's across the world for you. Yeah, Yumi's disappearance, your sister's illness led you down the path of despair. When I saw you again ten years later, you were a changed man. All you care about becoming was becoming chairman of the Tojo clan. In the end, you and I fought over ten billion yen that had been stolen from the Tojo. It was still you. You sacrificed yourself to save me. I wouldn't be staying here now if it wasn't for you. Rest in peace, Nishiki. You were a great friend right up till the very end. <laughs> you were a great friend, mostly. Okay, uh, now who we got? That's right, Yumi! It was the love interest of the first game, but it was kind of, it was really kind of glossed over. It was definitely not nearly as uh, in-depth and satisfying as, like, the thing with Kaoru uh, in the second game. Yumi, I still think back to the time me, you, and Nishiki spent a sunflower, sunflower. We had sure had some fun, huh? But even after Nishiki and I joined with the Dojima family, we never stopped spending time with you. Serena, the bar where you worked, ended up our ended up our favorite hangout spot. Three of us were happy then. Looking back on it now, it almost feels like a dream. And on that fateful day, so I Dojima kidnapped you, and you had to watch while Nishiki murdered him. The shock of it all caused you to lose your memory. Before you regained, though, you met, you met a diet member named K Kyoai Jingu, and conceived a child with him. Haruka. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yumi was actually Haruka's mom. Oh, and Jing oh, that's right. Jingu was the really, the really shitty villain of the first game. Like he was just like, he just came out of nowhere and just was like, yeah, I'm this big evil asshole. When in reality, and it, it kind of sucked because Nishiki was like definitely the better one, but, and they improved it in the Kiwami game, but it, compared to the original, which apparently was like really bad. Like they're really just kind of like didn't do Nishiki justice at all. Um, but even then, it was still... It's sort of the reason why Kwame 1 is, in my opinion, still the weakest game. But it, it was the first one, so I kind of have to... So I kind of let it slide a little bit. Uh, once you recovered your memory and learned of Jingu's plan, you left Haruka as Sunflower and began working with Chairman S Sarah and cosmos -san to stop him. You and me, there's so much I wish I had gotten a chance to say to you. So this thing goes for Haruka, so we'll be back to visit you again, I promise. Uh, is this Kazama? Yep, Kazama-san! How can I repay you for everything you did for me? Even though you were a ranking Tojo officer, you devoted your life to Sunflower Orphanage and raised me at the other and the other kids like we were your own flesh and blood. I got expelled from the clan. It says to ten years in jail for the murder of Sawai Dojima. You're one of the only people who didn't abandon me. Kiryu never killed anybody, remember? Remember everybody! And then I finally got out of prison and used Kaza the Kazama family to protect me from all the Tojo men around for my head. You even laid down your life to save Haruka. After your death, I took over as fourth chairman of the Tojo clan and managed to put a stop to the infighting. But I wanted to wash my hands of the Yakuza life, so I installed Tarada as the fifth chairman. Like me, he owed you a massive debt. That wasn't the end of my involvement, though, as I came back into the fold to deal with the Jingweon Mafia's plot for revenge. You see, so <laughs> you see, you see, Cosmosan, some Jingweon members you spared 20 years ago wanted revenge on the Dojima family for their downfall, but I managed to thwart their plans. Now the Tojo is at a crossroads yet again, but I have someone in my mind to take, o to take over, someone I trust to lead the clan back down the right path. Rest peace, Kazuma-san. You deserve that much, and Thank you for everything. So that, that's going to be the Nakahara guy, right? Uh, where's Ryuji at? He's going to be here, right? 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 Did he not get a tombstone? Dude, Ryuji was the best villain, in my opinion, though. Like, holy shit. Ryuji was awesome. Ryuji made Kwame too, in a lot of ways. Him and Kaoru. Are you finished, Kiryu-san? Uh, not yet. Hold on. Is he really not here? We're just not even gonna acknowledge him? I, I hope we do. He was so cool. He was your brother. I thought he'd be here. I mean, he he was a head of one of the the uh, one of the clans, right? I kind of figured that'd be like something we'd be talking about. That he would, and it, right? Yeah, he was like the head of the or the no, he was the son of the head of the. Was it the Ryuji? Was it actually called the Ryuji clan? I kind of figured he'd have a tombstone here, but maybe this is just for. Maybe it's, just to Maybe it's just Tojo Clan place. I guess, yeah. Technically, Nishiki was. So was this guy. So was Kazama. And so was, uh... Uh, wait. Was Yumi? I don't know. Whatever. I said we don't, like, totally just forget he existed. Oh, wow. I bump into people. My controller vibrates. Boom. One of us can still sh sh shove Haruka aside every time I, I run through the streets. All right. I think I'm all done. I actually wonder if this is the same voice actress that did, the, did Kairi the first uh, in Kwame 2. I'm gonna bet probably not. Yeah, done all I need to do. Right, I guess you'll be leaving then. Yep, heading down to Okinawa tomorrow morning. You know, I never picked you as the kind of guy to start, start an orphanage. Oh, cool! So yeah, I guess I- Neat! That's, that's what was going on at the start. That's why I- I, I, did I just adopt a bunch of kids? I was like, fuck, what happened? It's been a dream I want to take care of kids, though. Just like Kazama-san did for me when I had to, nowhere to turn. That's cute. 
textbook cosmic care, you response if I ever heard one. But why Okinawa? It's a place there with ties to the sunflower. When their old manager died, they asked of me if I knew anyone who might be able to lend a hand. You decided that person should be you? Seemed like the perfect opportunity. Are many opportunities for next Yaksa out in the wild, anyway. Here, Okinawa is beautiful, too. Yeah, your finish is right down by the beach. You should come visit when you get the chance. I'd love that, but I doubt I'll be able to for a while. Why's that? Well, I'm actually leaving the country tomorrow. What? No! Where to? The U.S. They're starting a training program for a new branch of the Metropolitan Police. They've asked me to be an instructor. It's really that simple. You'd probably try to stop me if I said more. Might be best to just leave it at that. Right. Well, I can't say I'm not happy for you. It's good to see you following your heart. No! No! Come on! We built up such a solid foundation for a relationship in the end of Kwame, too. I was really hoping you'd be, like, hanging out with me for the rest of the series. Maybe she'll come back? <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Besides, I don't think you'd like it very much if I turned them down to stay with you. Yeah, guess not. No! Wrong! Yes, I would! Damn, the pork chops on Kiryu, though. They're they, they super accentuated in this game. There's still a lot I want to accomplish as a police officer, Kiryu son. Career goals, you know. And I think America's the best place for me to do that. You're probably right. So let's go our separate ways. For now. I'll come find you once I've done what I need to do, okay? Prom promise. It's a promise. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's in line with her character. She was a very career-oriented person to begin with. But it's so sad. If she comes back later, she was cool. I like Kaoru. She kicked ass and took names. Hey, that's definitely Dante. Glasses guy. I remember our old pal Dante. Helps that we just got through a game with a character with the same name who's also a detective. Oh, that was the boss of Kaoru, I believe, this guy. I, I think. ガプスクラスです。ガプスクラスです。ガプスクラスです。ガプスクラスです。ガプスクラスです。ガプスクラスです。ガプスクラスです。ガプスクラスです。ガプスクラスです。ガプスクラスです。ガプスクラスです。
話をしておかないとならないやつがいるんだ登場会のことねああこのまま行けば大悟が登場会の六代目を継ぐだが大悟はまだ若い Oh 大悟フォークまとめるだけの力が足りない登場会を支えられる人間誰か当てる I remember him 俺と同じように昔からの登場会を知っている人間が一人な Tiger was cool <笑>なるほどねけど道島大悟に彼を飼いならすだけの度量があるかしらあいつは誰にも飼いならされるような玉じゃねえよ。マジマゴロウ。Oh, fuck. 要は彼が今の登場会に魅力を感じるか、それだけってことね。そうだな。彼のこと。キリちゃん。説得できるかしら。やるしかねえんだ。だから俺は今日どうしてもマジマに会う。そして奴を説得する。殴り合うような展開にならないといいわね。まあ、そればっかりはわからない。Carker, you have not said a single word. 気をつけてね。ああ、お前もな。Can we at least make out before we leave? じゃあ、行ってくる。ああ。Oh, there she go. Bye bye. That goofy outfit she was wearing from the first game or the second game. Her back, back in slightly less detailed Kamurocho. Oji san to Kamurocho o r u k u no mo. Kyo ga s a i g o ka mo shire nai da ne. So na koto ga nai. Probably not, no. Mata itsu demo kai. Are you kidding me? We're gonna be at this place like probably about 10 minutes. Do you stop? Karaoke and Virtual Fighter. God's gift to the world. Ah. Oh, sure, we're actually gonna do things? Uh, let's go see Uncle Kazuki and Uncle Yuya. Right. They deserve a farewell after all they've done for us. Uh, Kazuya and Yuya.、Uh, are those the club places? I think Yuya might be the club guys. What the hell is that? What's that hunchback guy walking by? What the hell is that? You okay, dude?、Uh, time to pay those two a visit. Stardust is just. Yeah, it is! I haven't totally forgotten all the characters. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Whoa! Holy shit, I feel like there's a lot more people here than there normally are. Get out of my way! Yes, I can still run through people! t h i n k fuck. Can I dash? I don't think so. Dick, what happened to my HP? This is a flashback, seemingly. I should have, like, super high HP. I just got through some shit. Oh, oh no, we do have profiles. Yeah! Ex colleagues. Division Chief of Investigations Division 1 of the Commerce and Police Department. After his unauthorized involvement in the 10 billion yen incident about, with Date, Sudo was relegated to Division 4. However, he was reassigned to Division 1 after speculation of cover ups during the Jingwei on comeback arose. Fears the Tojo clan will plunge the Commerce show into chaos and Kiryu's absence.、Uh, Lead detective of the Order has a crime. p o m i Kiryu, just count the two of them for a deep bond. As if her United States was ever dreamed. Ah.、Uh, what the hell? Where is. We haven't. We didn't mention Ryuji at all? What the fuck? Talk about Nishiki? I mean, I love Nishiki, but come on, man. Ryuji was cool. Sub stories. Hitman missions? Holy shit. Do I get to murder people in here? Is Kiryu done, like, stunt being your buddy? Phoenix Spirit. Oh my god. Yep, this is definitely k a m u r o c h o I should know it pretty well by now. Oh. For some reason, the sound of this bell stirs a feeling of sadness within you. The Ukiyo bell. I can equip it! It's equipment, okay. Three defense, three blades, three guns. I don't know how good that is in the long run. Okay, I could definitely sell this for money.、Uh, so, oh, my sweet, sexy flip phone of the early 2000s. Finally figured out how to send emails. Damn! Look at that. It's beautiful.、Uh, completion, oh lord. Oh, Jesus Christ! Guys, it's easy. It's right, look, it's just 632 things. Oh my god, hostesses! 
Oh shit, we're doing this this again. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be like the where you like quote unquote date hostesses, right? And like build a bomb with them, and probably not the hostess like run a club mini game. I'm guessing. Oh god, coin lockers, those are back. Eat ever. Oh my god, 259 fucking food and drink. Are you shitting me? 88 heat actions. The Coliseum is going back. Of course it is. Weapon modding? What? Revelations. Whatever the hell that is. Uh, 19 mini games. Really? Only 19? She seems kind of small. What I'm really curious about is what Virtual Fighter is in this game. I think we had Virtual Fighter 2 and Yakuza Kwame 2, which was probably in the original as well. But which one will we have here? Will this be Virtual Fighter 3? I feel like one of these games is going to have Virtual Fighter 4, and I'm going to be right at fucking home. Because that's the one I played a bunch. Oh my god, people are talking. So many people talking. What's oh. happening here? Uh, just out of the commotion. A while ago, it was part of a struggle for the control over the major Yaksa client, Sarah, but it's like you were assassinated. No, know it all guy. I saw, hey, what I heard, I heard some Yaksa from Osaka were trying to take over Kamurocho in a total full scale yeah. war. You built your own, just tried to keep it under wraps. This was actually a terrorist attack, but organized crime group for overseas. You serious? This is bigger than I thought. You're all wrong. I know the plot. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Harker, you want to see something cool? You want to see Daddy blow some shit up? Watch this. Wait. Wait. Why isn't it working? Harka, what did you do? I didn't do anything! This isn't... Usually just explode when I run into them. What? What? It's like a glue to the floor. Harka, what happened? Daddy! Daddy, that was the dragon engine! This is the old Yakuza Kiwami 1 engine! What? Yeah, what? Maybe even before that, actually. I don't know. This still seems actually quite different. No. No, say it ain't so, Harka! No! 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 Oh! My sweet physics objects! Oh! No! Oh, god damn it. We're gonna have to wait till like Yakuza 6 before we ever go back to the dragon engine. I'm gonna miss it so much! I'm gonna so much Arca. Or maybe Judgment 2 if that ever happens. Oh, bitch! I'm probably no more seamless loading into uh, in buildings either. Damn it, I miss it so much! <laughs> Yuya. Yuya. Yeah, yeah, that's Yuya. That's what I thought. Does he got a, does he have a bandit on his head? So, what's with the, yeah, what's, what's with the get up? Oh, you just getting me my clean on. Those Goryu punks tore the place up real bad. Everyone's really pitched in, though. So, they're doing all the, doing all the work while you smoke? <laughs> what? You got all wrong, Harbaka John. I was just taking a little breather. <laughs> By the way, how are you feeling? <laughs> what, what, me? Better than ever, man. Take more than a few punches to get it. Put it dead in old Yuya. Yu -Yu. It hurts to laugh. <laughs> if that's better than ever, I don't want to see what your hurt, hurt looks like. Oh, and how's Kazuki doing? Still over with the doc. It's not like it's going to be a while till he can come home. Oh, fuck. That's right. He got, like, shot to shit and taken to the infirmary and we, like, left him there. But he's doing good. Oh, yeah, there was, there was like the weird thing with him having a doppelganger and shit. That, that whole side story was fucking weird. Glad to hear it. By the way, Yuya, we're actually here to say goodbye. What? What do you mean, goodbye? I'm moving to Okinawa. Gonna be taking an orphanage down there. You're going to Arakachan? Mm hmm. No, I'm just staying here by myself. The place actually has a pretty close ties to Sunflower, too. After what Haruka and I have been through, I think it'll be good looking, feel good looking after some kids myself. Well, it's outright charitable, you man. We gotta say, it's gonna be lonely around here without you. It's not we're going to be that far. We can still see each other, you know, you fucking weirdo. Come visit us sometime. You know, that ain't such a bad idea. I'll ask Ka Kazuki san about taking the team down there for our next vacation. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Speaking of, I'm actually thinking to go see Kazuki now. Oh, yeah? Sure, he'll be happy to see you. Hope so. Anyway, you take care of this place while Kazuki's out of commission, okay? I'll do what I can. We'll carry you, son. I guess this is it. Good luck down there. And you too, Haruka Shan. Bye, Uncle Yuya. Don't forget to come visit. Uh, Haruka, I swear to God, it sounds like the exact same voice actress. Listen to all the sound bites here. Uh. Hey, you there. Can I help you? It's true that Kazuki Shan, the owner of Stardust, was shot. I heard he's in the hospital. Oh, yeah, because these are all like people you can talk to to get like recaps, right? Kenny, I'm so worried. I must have lost the 30 kilograms today. So I heard the news. Kilograms? What the fuck? Get this shit out of here. This is America, bitch. So the rumor that Kazuki was shot. It's just a rumor. Yes, it's true. 
Yeah, it's true. No, I can't bear to think of his beautiful face and injured in any way. I think I'm gonna faint. Well, actually, his face is fine. Oh, really? Oh, thank God. No, and Kazuki's hoon. I sure, I'm sure he put us off on the line to save the, the, the club from some nasty ox or something. I already should go pay him a visit to the hospital. Wait, is there even one nearby? Wait, this is supposed to be Club Sega, right? What the fuck is this fish market? Was it Club Sega in the last game? And Kwame too? I don't remember. Maybe it was just judgment. It's, I don't know. What are these guys talking about? Uh, oh, the oh, that's right. The construction shit. The cancel construction of Kamarocha huh? Hills. Nani? How come? Hey, there was an incident. I'm sorry. The construction. Oh, it's like the whole construction company just went up and, up and left. Whole, whole weird incident of these real professional wrestlers for some reason helping build things and fighting each other. What a waste there. He has so much finished. It's a job of the match. You must put a lot of people out of work. We're taking, and we're talking years of work. It's a real shame. Huh. Wait, so we just never got that shit done? Do, do we accomplish nothing in that whole process? Hey, oh my god. Let, wow. Damn, they really, they really, uh, went all in with the hunchbackedness of the old people here. Hey, seriously, look at it. I like a little weird gremlin. Hey, seriously, why are my arms out like this? I look, I, I think I might need, I think I might need some help. Skeptical elder. I wonder if that business between the Tojo clan and open eyes for a while back is really over. Somehow I doubt it. What's that old man tell me? You want to win a war, you got to finish the job. Completely annihilate the other side. Doing it halfway will just make your enemies want to get revenge later on. People get old grudge for years, even decades. I know. I want to kill that person who fucking jipped me out of those tissues earlier. Those motherfuckers said it cost me 200 yen when they should have been free. I'm going to kill them later, I swear to God. The ones who stuck around me up striking at the Tojo clan sooner or later. It's like the Jingwei on Mafia. Tojo clan did immediately choose the sixth chairman and bring the clan back together if they want to prevent Omi and Lars from retaliating. The stronger at the helm, they won't have to deal with the dissension in their ranks. I'll convince Majima to support Daigo. Can we see Majima again? Mateo! Mateo! <laughs> she still says it! Mateo! Whatever! I'm a good daddy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we. If I just stand here, will you automatically hold my hand? Oh, actually, I can talk to you. She gets some gelato. Oh. Can I, if I just stand here, will you hold my hand? Did they have that in the original game? They did not! That was something they must have added. It was really cute. They did that in, uh... I hear they did in Kwame 1. It was just Kwame 2. Gelato? Anyway, I think the infirmary place is over here. Yeah... Wait, can I actually get food? Wait! Oh! Oh, you want to get gelato? Oh, okay, okay. Wait. Wait, how do I go inside? Oh, here we go. Holy shit, that load time was fast. I don't know if that was just the... So wow, that was like instantaneous. That might have been the solid state. You guys have to let me know. For anyone who's played this like on the PS4, did it uh, did it load that quickly? I actually... I, I moved it to the solid state because I was hoping maybe if it did have these... Because I knew it would have load times again. Help eliminate it. That was literally instantaneous. So that was cool. What can you tell what you'd like to order? Strawberry Duck, excuse me one Uncle Cos. Or wants me to get her strawberry gelato. Well, there's nothing else on the menu, so I guess I'll go with it. Strawberry gelato is especially popular with girls for its uniquely sweet and tangy flavor. I will buy. Arigato. I got you, girl. Guess I'm not gonna get any. Oh shit! We can still do this in this game. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's come back. Oh, oh god! Oh wait, I'm getting flashbacks. Oh fuck, that's right. You guys remember? Was that Ka was it Kwame one or Kwame two? Which one is it? Which one was it where I tried to max a Harka and I absolutely fucking regretted it because there was some shit I had to do that was so awful. It was so fucking awful. I think it was I think it was poker that I had to, like I had to get like some certain insane amount. Is that the one that like really drove me fucking up the wall? Because you could only like bet so much money in poker in this game. You can't go like all in. You need to earn like a certain amount. It was fucking ridiculous. Wow. Wow, interesting. Actually, doing that like right at the start of the game? Before you even flash forward? Oh, wait, wait. I saw her hand move. Do it again. Or did I just bump into her? Oh, maybe I just bumped into her. Like, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, when I hear her, her little arm goes up. Woo! I thought she was reaching for my hand. Damn it. So she's just like in the other games where she... Oh my god, her little walk. Um, 
where she'll go up to a place that she really likes. Oh no, she does do it. I just gotta walk. <gasps> yeah. Okay, sorry. It's very, I'm very happy then. Good. They made sure to add that. Sir, get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to bow my not daughter. The fucking way with me. If I can't run through objects, I'll just run through people instead. Yes. Explode. Explode, puny man. Ah! Okay, sorry. I feel better. Come back here, sweetheart. Let's go for a walk again. There, we still do it. Yeah, that makes Nico happy. Look at the little anime nurse over there. Hello. Wait, are you my informer guy? No. Get here again. You sure know how to keep the doc busy. No, I'm just visiting someone today. Oh, the young man from the host club was hurt pretty bad from what I hear. I'm again, so are you. Just look at you now. Never even wants to have a brush with deaths. Just what are you made of, huh? Yeah, that's right. I got like. That's where I got stabbed or something. And then like, and like super dramatic scene with the copyrighted song. Oh, and all of the doctor. Uh, oh, here we go. Himoto Medical Clinic. What's he talking? It's where Uncle Kazuki is, right? Yep. Something up. <laughs> well, I was just thinking, can we have some fun after we see him? Yeah, <laughs> of course, Haruka. Uh, just a second there, buddy. <laughs> oh shit, time to fight some dudes. Whose textures haven't seemed to not have fully loaded in, or maybe this is as best as this is as good as they get. Can I help you? This time's no place to bring little girl. Oh man, <laughs> you you get lost your way to the fun fair. None of your business. It, it's the Kuma Kura game. Oh god! Oh. <laughs> now back off, or I'll make you back off. Hey, <laughs> you look like just the kind of guy who wanna who wants to have a tutorial. Ew, I'm so scared. Do what's with this asshole? Guys, piss me off. Uh, sure, pal. <laughs> we'll back off if you hand over some cash. I mean, girl, yours gets allowance. Yeah, have a share of the wealth, bitch. Sorry, not happening. Just fork it over, man. <laughs> this guy's freaking emotive poses. <laughs> he was doing like a surfing motion there. Fork it over, man. You don't want to get your ass beat for your kid, do you? Even listen, you old fuck. Look, if you get lost now, forget this ever happened. But you stick around, you're gonna pay. Promise. Think you take us, asshole? <laughs> Who is gonna pay? Be paying, man. Either in cash or in blood, your choice. Or just some blood if you want it, but it's not gonna be mine if you catch me. Ha! <laughs> go on, you're gonna regret this. Alright, see how the fighting is in this one. We'll see about that. Let's go! See how different or samey it feels. I mean, obviously not gonna feel like the Dragon Engine version, but probably more like with Zero and uh, Kwame 1, potentially. Oh, yeah! Alright, here we go. Spread repeatedly to execute rush combo. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much the same. Kicking, kicking, lots of kicking. Uh, triangle during rush combo takes you to powerful fishing blow. Type finish depends on, yep. Yeah, all right, this definitely feels familiar. Yeah, there's the kick. Yeah, big kick. Okay, cool. Press circle near an enemy to grab him. Okay. Now holding the enemy, press square to attack. Bonk, bonk, bah. Okay, your turn. Ah, big kick. Okay, this one, I'm gonna just chuck his ass. Watch this. Ah, suplex. Man, you guys have a lot of health for fucking scrubs. Oh, that's, oh, that's so cool. I love it. I can kick dudes while holding that guy. That's so awesome. Uh, objects have a uh, arrow over them. Grab like enemies. Okay. This is all uh, stuff I know. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yes, it still explodes in glorious physics. Ah, fuck you. Ah, fuck you. Do I still have a? Uh, yep. R1 is still the exact lock, same lock on. Sorry, I was like, how much do I remember this? Yes. Ah. This time it's a stapler. Blue gauge at the upper left is called the heat gauge. The this gauge will fill up as you attack enemies. Once it's charged, you will enter heat mode and be surrounded by blue aura. This comes with many advantages. Attack until it builds up. Punching, punching, punching. Man, you wouldn't even believe that I'd actually gone through a crazy final boss with my this guy named Ryuji, right? With my fucking beauty stats, they are now. I'm just weaker for some reason. I kind of figured they just weakened me up after the flashback, after the flash forward, but now nah, it's just starting out. During heat mode, you can use a secret technique called heat actions. Uh, press triangle right at the top right of the screen. Okay. 
Okay, grab. Yeah! Okay, good. It is context sensitive based on where you are. Good. That's still the same. Ah! You guys are very durable. I hope you... Okay, I can't just do it on the ground? Maybe I gotta unlock that. It's like the curb stomp one, I believe. Ah! They're, de they're definitely not quite as epic, though, as the as the uh, as the later ones. Uh, just makes tutorial. All right, beat him up. That's right, fear me. Yeah, I can still make him fear me. Good. They had like no HP <laughs> at that point. See, so is that my uh, rewind time and redo this fight? No, thank you. I can see my experience on the top above that. Well, I don't know. Shit, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you were a protagonist of like eight games now. We'll get your, out of your hair. No harm, no foul. Yeah. I remember saying you could leave, motherfucker. You're going to die here right now. Hey, please don't like us to kick our asses anymore, old man. You really don't know how to talk to your elders. Huh? Am I going to have to beat some more manners than you? <laughs> Wait, no. No more being, please. Have no more being, please. Let's go. Huh. Maybe next time we remember your place. Know your place, present. Yes, of course. I got all straight there, I promise. Fine. Get out of here. Oh, thank God. I mean, thank God, sir. Come on, boys. Let's like it. Haskata. <laughs> what was that last one? Casey stays. You all right, Haruka? Mm-hmm. I'm super used to it, really. Seriously, I've seen you kill so many men. Well, I don't kill anybody, right? Daddy Kiryu never kills anybody. How many times I tell you that, honey? Go, let's go see Uncle Kazuki. Okay. Kazuki. Moto Medical Clinic. Hey, dude. Hey, Kazuki, how are you feeling? Oh, Kiryu-san, did you come all the way here to, come to see me? The doc says it'll be a little while until I can go home, but I'm on a mend at least. Right. You're looking pretty healthy. Thanks. It means a lot coming from you. Yeah. Um, Kaku, Uncle Kazuki, we're actually here to say goodbye. Goodbye? He still, he looks pretty much like he did in the other game. All right, are you two going somewhere, Kiryu-san? Yup, the Goryu and the Jingwei-on have been dealt with, and the world has been saved, and Tiger's come around to being the next chairman. My job here is done. We're moving to Okinawa. Okinawa, huh? That's pretty far. Yeah, that's... I thought we said we were going to find somebody else, because we thought Tiger was too young to be the chairman. Or maybe we're just saying, I think I think he would be too young, but he's going to roll with it anyway. Yeah, it's kind of the point. Haruka and I are going to be running an orphanage down there. I mean, we already see that he doesn't. Some other dude does. Wow, I can't say we won't miss you, Kiryu-san, but I'm sure it'll be great. Unless that was Daigo. No, it wasn't. No. <laughs> yeah, Yuya said pretty much the same thing. <laughs> oh, he also said you'd come visit us. <laughs> well, I've been looking for a place to take the boys for some team building. Can't think of a better place than Okinawa. <laughs> better forget! Don't worry, Haruka chan I'll we'll visit so you soon. <laughs> Kusan, thank you for everything. I owe you my life. Don't be ridiculous. If it was for me and the Tojo clan, you never would have ended up like this in the first place. Hope you yeah. can forgive me. Don't be like that, Kiryu-san. I can't imagine a Komarucha without you. This town owes you and Kazama-san more than you realize, so please, there's no need to apologize. If you say so. Thanks, Kazuki. Of course. And take care of yourself, Kiryu-san. I will. Feel better soon, Uncle Kazuki. Thanks, Haruka-chan. Be good and down in Okinawa, okay? I don't want to hear about you getting into any, any trouble. <laughs> okay, bye! All right, uh... Oh, the doctor, right? I hear you're leaving Kamurocho. Yeah, so everything's still down. By the way, how's Kazuki doing? He'll be, f he'll be fine soon enough. It'll still be some time till he'll be on the street, but he's progressing nicely. Good to know. Did you drop in on the Tojo clan yet? Nope. They're not planning to. Daigo and Yao Yo and uh, Yao Yoi-san have enough on their plate. Already rebuilding the organization. Besides, the Tojo clan don't... Don't mean, need me now that Daigo's in charge. I don't mean so sure about that. It's all right. I've got a letter for Daigo over with Kashiwagi-san. Oh, yeah, Kashiwagi! One thing I need, I need though. Hmm? What's that? I need to see a certain soul before I leave Kamurocho for good. M Majima, you're going to talk to him? Gask him to look after Daigo, huh? Yeah. Maybe that was Daigo. It's been a while. I can't... I, I mean, I remember Daigo, but with, like, his big goofy jacket and him looking a lot younger. If we all want the other families to accept Daigo as their leader, we need a ma big man like Majima to come forward and to do it first. Can't you just step in if anyone starts giving him trouble? Why does that have to be Majima? I'm out of the clan, that's why. Besides. What? It's not that long ago that Tojo wanted me dead. 
Even now, I have my fair share of enemies in the clan. To be honest, I'm actually kind of glad they're doing this big refresher. I mean, this probably would kind of suck if you'd just gotten off the last game. Um, but for me, who hasn't played the last game in two years, I'm kind of glad they're doing this. I know it's kind of, this is very extended. This is a very long uh, uh, recap intro, but I actually appreciate it. Me and the Mad Dogs are only option. That's right. None of the Patriarchs would dare mess with Majima, but if Dagger can show he's got him on a leash. They have a family set to follow suit. I get it. So you're going to see him now? Yeah. But I might leave Haruko here while I'm out. What? The girl? Yeah, of course, of course. No problem at all. Thanks, Himoto. Wait, I thought- I just told her I was gonna- we were gonna go do some shit. I'm just gonna be pissed. We're going somewhere, Uncle Kaz? Yeah, I need to go talk to Majima some before we leave. Can I come? Sorry, but I need you to be a big girl and stay here, okay? Majima and I have some dull things to discuss. Oh, are we going now? I thought we were gonna spend some time together. Uh... Oh, okay. I'm actually wondering, if we say more time together... Maybe a little more time wouldn't hurt. Yeah. That's cute. Okay, wait, I'm actually curious. Can we actually do some shit? Build up her little gauge, like, at the start of the game? Oh my god, wait, can I go around the entire map? No. I'm kind of curious to see if, she, if there's any other place that she wants to go. This is just like the other games where she'll stop somewhere. I can't remember if this actually does anything, though. Like, she give me, like, items at specific points or, or something? Hey, it's bowling back? Oh, it is! It is the bowling alley. I remember the easiest ones for her were the food. Uh, do I not get a sprint button? I don't think I can sprint. Dude, that guy was so hot. What the fuck? I don't seem to have a run button, or at least not be able to go any faster. Maybe later I will. There's Club Sega. Sega. Wait. Fuck it. I want to go in and see. What do we got? Uh. What the hell is Voxilios, an arcade shooter? See the seat of an invisible fighter and challenges you to destroy as many enemies as possible before time runs out. Move your ship left and right. Shoot and destroy either glowing core or the majority of the enemies just take them down. Time stands still for two seconds after an enemy appears. It's time to aim for the enemy's core. Is this a real Sega game? Uh, not right now. Virtual fighter? Please tell me virtual fighters here. <gasps> oh, it is. Oh, wait, what? We have VF5? <gasps> wait, VF5 is here? Really? Can I not play it? Oh, no. Can I not play it? What can I play? There's Sonic again. Is it just these? Wait, just one? Oh, and the, the crane mini minigame. The crane mini game and that. Oh no, can I not play Virtual Fighter in this game? Oh, that'd be sad. That'd make, make, make Nico super sad. Oh, so it'd be like Virtual Fighter 3 or something. And I think Virtual, wait. No, Virtual Fighter 5 actually probably would have been out by this point. Actually, yes, it definitely would have. It definitely would have. Virtual Fighter 5 was a pretty early PS3 release. Let's see, any places that Haruka wants to go? Are the shop's actually showing up on here? Oh god, this is where we have save points. I don't know if this game auto saves. Actually, probably doesn't. This is been back to probably like Kiwami 1 and Yakuza 0, where you have to go to save points, right? I think they've actually only added it in after, uh, yeah, in Kiwami 2 and uh, Judgment. I think. I think? Oh, the coin lockers are back. So I guess we'll be finding keys around here. <gasps> oh god, we do! It's the phone booth! Behold, the glorious save point phone booth and the item box. It is back! Hey, it's the park! Is there not a save point in this? Remember, I think it was in Kwame 1 and 0 that actually had a save point here. We're pushing rocket smoke and save. Maybe we'll have to re flash forward in the future. I mean, I imagine I'll probably still be going to stone here. I, I mean, I'm hoping the game does have a new setting. I th having a new setting in Okinawa would actually be really cool. Oh, right. The alleyway over here. We're going to always fight dudes behind, behind Serena's bar. That is still here. Holy shit. Haruka, hurry up, sweetheart. Seems like Haruka does not have the thing what she gets in later games where... She, if you're not looking at her, she runs at the speed of a fucking blue hedgehog to keep up with you. As long as you're not looking at her, because otherwise it would look hilarious, right? Yeah, she doesn't. <gasps> Yay, I did. I got a reaction. Don Quixote. I'm thirsty. All right. Cool. Don Quixote. What would you like? Here's CC Lemon. Sure. It's only 97 yen. Dirt cheap. Perk on her bottomless stomach. Just like Daddy Kiryu and his upgrade. When, when do I get my bottomless stomach perk? When I'm going to level up like one time. I imagine at some point I'm going to be cut off here, right? Because I, be, I can't access the whole city at the moment. Must. Make. 
not Dotaru happy for no reason in particular. Oh, no, this is the Club Sega. I was getting this. My corners mixed up. Oh, man, I might not be able to actually play VF5 in this. Uh, or, or any VF at all. That'd be, that would really suck. So we get, we got the UFO catcher and whatever this thing is. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that quite right now. We'll fuck around with that later. Oh, I torn her. Oh, God. She's going to die. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to die. There we go. Yay. Good daddy, Kiryu. Pork rice. Okay. This place looks a little different on the inside. Get the pork rice. Oh, good thing I'm starting off with a fair amount of money. One star bar par parfait for my ravenous little daughter. Cool, this might actually be able to level up. Uh, yeah, the best. Rank E. Present for you. Got Harkus candy. Awesome. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe getting this shit early in the game might be good. Candy got from Harkus. I guess it just heals me or something, right? Yeah, I don't need it right now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I do. I do wish that these uh, a lot of the items I remember in the, these games are kind of like this, where they don't really tell you what they even do. Most of the time, food items, I think, just heals you, though. What? You're starving? What? You want to go again? We just went in here. You want a cake set? Oh, okay. We're back. You thought we were done, but guess again. I'm going to give her an... I'm going to buy her an entire cake. Because I am an idiot. It's good for lowering blood pressure. What the fuck do you want now? Goma Mugi tea. Oh, of course. Yes, because here is you really got to worry about high blood pressure. Yeah, we're back again. Seaweed rice ball. Honey, can daddy get something here? No, over me. God damn it. Well, you just had two seconds ago. Yes, we're back again. Double scoop. Just can't stop eating. Tamago. Okay. Now let's eat. What do you mean? I watch you eat. I get nothing. Oh, God. You want to go bowling? God damn it. Fine. Because you're so close to leveling up. Oh, boy. Oh, these mechanics are basically the same as before. 900. Yeah, what the fuck? Sure. That's a beater. Or let, her, let her beat me. I've got a girl ball with two most the fuck. Oh, God. This is my first day. Oh, God. Here we go again. Uh, okay. I think this is probably determine the direction. Yeah. Press X to th just the throwing power. Yeah. And then left, right, six to four, release the ball to just the spin. Yep. Okay. This is the exact same mechanics. They have not changed it over like 30 years. Damn it. Nice toss there, Kiryu. All right. Good thing I didn't count. That's not what my control looks like. I found the key of these was usually to aim here, aim slight to the side, and then give it a spin. Uh... Oh, fuck. Fuck you. You and your damn physics engine. There we go. Yosh. Yosh. Take that, Harko. You better not be a fucking god at this. I'm gonna be pissed. Uh... All right. Oh, there? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Harka. Get shit out of here. I regret ever adopting you. Uh, I'm just gonna chuck it no spin this time. Just head on. Uh, ah, fuck. Knock it over. Oh, oh my God, around the edge, baby, yeah. Yosh. I swear to God, if Harker gets to spare every time, I'm be pissed. I'm be so fucking pissed. Or a strike or anything. Never, don't get a strike. You're not allowed to beat daddy, okay? Oh my God. Oh God, oh God. Okay, there's no way she's gonna get that. And if she does, she's cheating. Okay, she's just good. She's gonna miss now. Good. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah! 
I don't know about you guys, but I'm really enjoying the story of Yaxith. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I have a problem. I just I just want to make my baby girl happy. A very serious problem. I couldn't resist, okay? I couldn't resist. It's the same issue I had with the other time we had to do this thing. Where I was like, you know, this probably isn't worth it at all, right? So why am I doing it? Why the fuck am I doing it? I don't know. I don't know. I've got a problem. But I'm about to get the spare, motherfucker. Check this shit out. Ba -ba boom Oh, God. The pen's freaking out. Yosh. Yosh. <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you, Haruka, you suck. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? Daddy's pissed about that. Show you how it's done, sweetheart. Arrgh! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I hate my life. I hate my life. Okay, well, I am uh, totally boned. Fuck you. God damn it, I'm pissed. Okay, stop throwing weird angles, honey. You're like five, right? How... Shouldn't know how to spin the ball at all. Okay, good. If you somehow get the spare, I'm going to disown you. It's like literally impossible. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh my god, how many are we doing? I thought that was it. Oh god, are we going for like a full 10 sets? 10 frames? Yeah! I'm the best! Around! No, we're gonna keep daddy carry you down. What the fuck was that? That was some bullshit, Harka. Yeah, I win! Fuck you, Harka! No, oh, Harka, she's like a pro bowler! Yeah! Sorry, she's happy that I beat her ass. Ha ha! So, Costa, I'm pressed for you! Harka's chocolate! Yay! So, like, just, there's another better healing item, right? Yeah. Damn, I'm sorry to get some, like, early game accessory or some shit. All right, I don't think anyone can claim that I am a bad daddy at this point. I just needlessly just went through this shit. All right, we're fucking done with it, all right? That was fun, but that's enough. Let's go with the actual story. What the hell, Harka? Why are you distracting me with all your stupid bullshit? <laughs> this guy's walk. <laughs> do, 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 do. Get the hell out of my way. Go to somewhere else? Yeah, I gotta go do some shit. Go do actual what I'm supposed to be doing in the story. All right, Harka, we did. We, seriously, we hung out and you're like, no, we gotta do more. Come on, I bought you like 30 things when I beat you in bowling. Should be happy. Sorry, I can ask you now. I just don't take too long, okay? All right, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Majima! Where are you, Majima? Meet up with Majima. Better see Majima's son. I'm sure he's somewhere in town. He'll track him down, down some from his family. Oh, God. Well, you, just, you just pop out of a manhole. You should already know where I am at all times. Someone from the family? Oh, God damn it. Any indication of where that person might be? Nope. Man, maybe there's a sprint yeah. button in this game. Oh, God damn it. Well, well look who it is. Oh, you're the brass from before. What now? Oh. Hey, you think you're hot shit, huh? Wait, what? what? You guys are terrified of me. Now you're just not anymore? It's a guy, senpai. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. It would have been on my tender little friend here, huh? Tender. <laughs> yeah. You're in trouble now, old man. Our senpai is here in the Cosmo family. Yeah, that's right. The guy who owns this damn town. Well, you shit yourself yet? Uh, look at this bitch. He's just scared. Can't even walk. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't get your tongue, Wyatt. Where I hear you were actually real tough toward my pal not too long ago. Guess what? I'm even I'm gonna hear the even nods. Kiss me. Oh. Uh, right. I got because I'm a family pin right here. Don't go handing these things out to the street. You know, I'm a big man. You don't want to meet my big fist. I'm gonna put up in my heart to forgive you for a price. Huh? <laughs> she laughing at. That's a family pin, huh? Funny. Back in my day, nobody dare brag about their loyalty without knowing who they're up against. That's how you get yourself killed, kid. Yeah. Well, the dragon of Doge, you dumb asshole. Oh, yeah. Look, just do yourself a favor and run along. I'm not interested in wasting my time for scum yeah. like you. The boss of Cosmo Family Boys around. Best free brace it. Again. Saga! Nasindi, I in New York. Let's go. Getting the power of the door up. Alright, L1 to guard. It's not working as text from the rear. Hit me. Baby, one more time. Come on, attack me, stupid. Guys. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Our assume fighting stance. Left stick will control surf around it. Uh, surf in one-on-one -on -one fights. Hold it for nine more seconds. Mud up, mud up, mud up. 
Yeah, that's right. That's why I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me. Uh, press X again to quickly move. Yes. Whoa, that's a... Holy shit, that is a huge dash. What the... Wow, I'm like sliding, like ice skating across the ground. That is way further than you normally get in the other games. For one dash. Look at this. Woo! Woo! I'm slipping and sliding, baby! All right. Ah, drop kick. Come here. Ah, big kick. Yeah. Oh my god, any heat actions are just like staying in the middle of the street. Oh god! Oh fuck you! Ah. This guy's got a lot of health. <laughs> Get back up! I'm not done beating on you. Come on, we're going over here. Boom! Am I like building up my EXP from actual like hits? I think I might be. Yeah, level up. Did just level up my stats. Off the bat. What happened? I thought you were going to teach me a lesson. She's strong. What the hell is going on here? Chris so caused the trouble on our turf. <laughs> I need your help. This guy's fucking wrecking us. Oh. Looks like he already did, Hiroshi. He, he starts shit with you. Yeah, you gotta be with the cause of failure or something. Hold your horses there. You're the ones who started this, not me. Get a champion, you bitch. Oh, well, if anything. Hey, well, the fourth chairman. How have you been? Mm -hmm. Huh? Don't holler me. Go on, introduce yourself, idiot. This place is me cure you. Tojo Klein's fourth chairman. What? But him? What? <laughs> Sorry to be you, sir. Shut the fuck up. Get down and kiss my feet. You there? Your Cosmo family too? Yes, sir. My name's Nikki, but you can call me Nikki. Nikki, Nikki, fuck you. I think I will stick to Nikki. Anyway, oh my god, are you kidding me? Where do you know where I can find Majima son? Hmm, that's a good question. Does he let the Tojo Klein start to Majima construction? It's been impossible to know where he might pop up. But now I think about it, he was actually scheduled for a meeting with the boss today. I might catch him over at the Cosmo family office if you're lucky. Thanks. I'll go take a look. And I'm fourth chairman? Yeah. Boys didn't offend you, did they? Yes. No, it was nothing. They could use a little more education is all. So I guess I'll have to be some man to them, yeah. Don't worry. I already did. Just keep an eye on them. Make sure they take a lesson they learned today to heart. They learned valuable life lessons. Do that. Thank you, sir. Well, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to run out of this late. Come on, fourth chairman. I love you. Shut up. Shut up, maggot. I think I'm on the wrong way. Final battle tutorial upgrades. After earning a certain number of experience points, you will upgrade your abilities and upgrade screen. You will earn experience points only for defeating enemies, but also by completing sub stories. Cool. Whoa, my map is super zoomed in. You can now upgrade your abilities. The Phoenix Spirit automatically fills up the heat gauge if your health gauge is flashing red. Increases the maximum limit of your heat gauge. Uh, swiftly return to your feet after being knocked down. A Kamaki technique for avoiding knockdown. X wall. Uh, emitting white energy and fight. Okay. Increase health gauge. So, I don't really have much at the start here. Oh, realist tech that can be executed on a downed enemy. Yes, there's the curb stomp. Oh, I see. Wait. Oh, it takes two bars. I see. I gotcha. Okay. So, how does this work? Cool. Um, And that's it, right? Yeah, until I get the... I can't actually spend it until I have enough for each of them. A pearl type where you slam one enemy down to another. Grab an enemy and press trial nerve down to enemy. Cool. Oh. Uh. What the hell are you looking at? You got balls to give me that. Hey. You guys, these guys some manners. What? Oh, is this, is this a random fight? I guess so. Oh, it's not... Yeah, that's right. I guess it's not seamless anymore, is it? Now we gotta, gotta, gotta kind of go to an arena. 
No, I get EXP is like kill enemies, yeah. That's what I was, I was getting from just like hitting enemies. <laughs> Jesus. The ones who need to learn some manners. Oh, hey, I got an item. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. I made a friend today. Oh. Oh, Kiryu-san! Hello, tiny construction man. Sashida, right? What are you up to? <laughs> oh. Yeah. It was like his mom was buddy, right? Well, the boss did some business with Kashiwagi's son, so I came over with him. But once we got here, he told me to just go home. Problem is, if I really do have to leave, I'll totally get shoot out later, so I'm sticking around for now. Huh. So she's heading over there to see Majima's son myself. Is he still with Kashiwagi son? Dad, the boss thinks beings are most most poor shit in the world, so I doubt it lasts longer than ha half an hour. Where is he now? Well, the river was like looking down the city. He may not look it, but he's actually a big softy. I'm sure he's torn up about you leaving Kamurocho, Kiryu son. And hey, don't ever let the boss say it. No, I said he's soft. I think he'd end up losing an eye if myself he found out. Yeah, I won't. Take care of yourself, Shida. Make up for you, Kiryu son. Before you go, the boss has been kind of catty lately. I'm be careful. Who knows what will set him off? You know what, here, you shake this. Better say sorry, I always say. Oh, shit. Thanks. Oh, shit. Am I gonna fight Majima? Just right off the, right the bat here? Probably. Can go two seconds without having to fight him. To the elevator. Kitty chan. Hey, you got a mark on, on your eye patch. Did you have that last game? I don't remember. What are you doing? I want to you to Yeah. Come on, man. What are you getting at, Kitty John? I think that was pretty clear. You can't seriously want me to go back, going back to the, want to go back to the Tojo? I do. Well, too bad. You must point it now. Class is just not the barrel of muck as he used to be. Listen, Majima son. I guess so, he's taking over a sixth chairman, but he could end up in some trouble without a family of his own. Then you want my muscle backing him up? Yes. Or please, your family is the only thing that can save the Tojo clan now. Get out to pass. What about son? Come on, kitty John. You know what I'm like. Living in life caged up like a damn shelter dog ain't my scene, and you know it. Damn, the textures on his jacket definitely didn't get updated. Holy fuck. But that's exactly what I'm doing. Giving up my freedom to keep my family afloat. <laughs> but now you keep marching up here, asking me to babysit your little protege on top of that. So I ain't gonna happen. Somehow I knew that's what you'd say. What? Majima son. You wanna be free, right? Uh. Yep. But instead, you're feeling trapped, gooped up. Yep. Hold it. It's a perfect chance for you to break out. Huh? Huh? It's my shit are you talking about? Once Daigo takes over, there'll be no shortage of people for you to fight. You can go wild like you've never gone before. Oh. How's that? You could be his enforcer. Anyone who thinks about betraying Daigo, you can go full license to put them back in line. Yep. You're saying what I think you're saying, Key John. You bet your biscuits. It's not going to see what the Majima family can really do. So I'm not asking you to babysit Majima-san. I'm asking you to let loose. Because the more ass you kick, the better off the Tojo clan and Daigo will be. Why don't you start off with that shit? Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, fuck. You <laughs> I'm taking my shirt off, too. Hajime yo kakiryu Get You bet your ass I am. Ah, we're off the bat. First episode, we're going shirtless and fighting. Feels like it's been a whole game since we've done that. Feels like two years. You good at it? Let's go, Mark. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Alright. 
<laughs> what am I getting? Am I getting the mag dog style? He doesn't have his dad ground, does he? Oh god. Damn! Nice dodge, dickhead. Yeah. Ah, curve stop. What's the down button? I see the D-pad up there. I probably get that supercharged move or something. Damn, he really is blocking all that, isn't he? Ah, get fucked. Ah. Yada yada. Kick. Okay, ah. Get fucked, dickhead. Good to be back, baby. Uh, uh. Come on here. Come over here. Fuck. Door up. Oh, fuck. I'm getting fucked up. No, no. Oh, shit. Oh, power. Up. Oh, shit. Here we go. When you're victory against a powerful enemy, you are able to perform a heat super finish. You, If your heat gauge isn't filled, press R2 to wrap. Uh, R2 to enter heat mode. Oh, God. Oh, God. It just clicked out of it. I didn't even press anything. Ah! Ah! Okay. Uh, head press. Sick. So we got that. I was thinking that we had in Kwame 2 as well, I believe. Cinematic finish. Ah! Oh my God, he's not dead yet. <laughs> Fucking sit down. Ah, come on. Die. Stop blocking, dickhead. Oh, that's it. Fuck you. Ah, mad dog tamed. Yeah, look at my neck. The textures. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Get it done. Get it done. <laughs> yeah, bleh. Take me, Kiryu Chan. Take me. I'm right here. That was a good fuck fight. This is really ダイゴのことを頼んだ。ね。ただ一つ気がかりなことがある。なんだ。もし六代目がおかしな方向に進んでも、俺には止めることはできへんで。どういう意味だ。ダイゴ。いや六代目はあんたと同じで人を信じや
Chapter two, the Ryudo encounter. Wow, I guess the chapter one, all right. Six months later, summer 2007. Okay, so it's only been six months. Good Lord, Harka looks so much older. Or maybe it's just the outfit, I don't know. Cut the onions very carefully. <laughs> I don't do this very much. Thanks, Arka. That's right. I'm gonna make this the best fucking curry ever. Little bastards. Just to me, onions. <laughs> Boiled onions. Hi. Hi. いずみ。いずみ。知らない。知ろ。あんた今日学校から一緒に帰ってこなかった?うん。帰ってきたけど。うん?どうした知ろ?知らないのか?ま、しろいけ。どうしろいけ。ごすです。オフィネッジ。い
What matters is that you're surrounded by people who love you for who you are. But we're not related. Well, there's more to it than that. Believe it or not, you mean the world to all of us. Not alone is enough to make us family. And I just spent the first, like, 20 minutes of this episode running around with Haruka, all right? I was willing to do that for her, and I'm willing to do that for all of you. Because I'm a fucking psycho who loves all of you as if you were my own children. Because that is how Daddy Kiryu does. Besides, I don't think your classmates were really making fun of you. Huh? They spent their whole lives with their moms and dads right by their side. They can't imagine it any other way. I'm sure they just don't realize how lonely life is as an, or is as an orphan. And they don't think I'm weird? That's right. And if they did, I will fucking kill all of them! If anything, I'd say they were generally concerned about you feeling lonely. I was an orphan too. I noticed how hard it can be. Even so, I always think of the man who brought me up as my real dad. And the other kids from my orphanage? They're my siblings. Throughout all my life there, all my time there, the idea of not having a real family never even crossed my mind. So you see, you have everything you could ever need right here at Morning Glory. Okay, so that's the, that's the name of this orphanage. That's the Sunflower Orphanage. It's actually Morning Glory Orphanage. Your family's just as real as any of the other kids at school. Don't need to be jealous of them. I'm not. It's just they see things sometimes. When they do, you can tell them this. I will break your fucking face open and rip out your entrails. I'm not alone. I have nine people in my family. Nine? Me, Haruka, and one of those other kids. <laughs> that makes nine. We're a family, huh? Hell yeah, girl. Kiryu really is best daddy. ああ。俺は、お前のお父さんにはなれない。でもお前がこの朝顔に来たときから家族だと思っている。ああ。おじさん。おじさん。イズミちゃん、みんなが待ってるよ。朝顔に戻ろう。ほら、泣かないでもう。さあ、今日はカレーだ。戻って腹いっぱい食べよう。Yeah. We back. They didn't touch their food. Good kids. Izumi ga inai no ni taberare nai kara na. Mo naka peko peko da yo. Ii kara hayaku suware. Kochi oide. Izumi chan hayaku hayaku. Some good kids we got here. Okay, now we're starving. Eat. Yosh. Yosh. Oh, she's like ass. Damn it, carry you. I can't cook, okay? Shut up. Oh shit, look at Kiri out here. Six months later. Oh, it's actually six months after that. Okay. An eviction notice? What the fuck? Yeah, with a weird face. Oh. That's the guy who was my friend later. We don't have to leave, do we? Not if I can help it. I'm not about to let those guys kick us out of our home. 
Must be Ryudo family boys. That's who's been sending us those letters. One way or another. It's gonna have to stop. Can't have them keep scaring you guys. It interesting. So we still actually have not fully caught up with the present here. I should pay this Ryudo family a visit. I already know it's gonna be my friend. I saw the future. Don't worry, Haruka. I'm not gonna... Not planning on getting into any fights. Even if they are Yakuza. Just be careful, Uncle Kaz. I will. Put a shirt on, Dad. God! Be back tonight. Go to the Ryudo family office. Kill there, Uncle Kaz. Hey, all right. Memories. Oh, interesting. Time difficulty was changed. Interesting. Complete. We are 0.5% of the way through the game, guys. We're almost there. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you actually can change the difficulty in the game. I didn't think you could. But all right, guys. I think this is probably a good place to end things here for now. Oh, I actually have some levels to spend, too. But uh, it feels good to be back playing Kiryu again. Uh, and the game seems good so far. It's definitely a bit of a slow start, but I do like this change in scenery and honestly, this kind of this change of pace, really. It's amazing what just having a new locale on St. Yaksa can could do to make the game feel a little more fresh again. So, um, but I hope you guys are excited for this new series. If you are, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already. Become a PE penguin. A boy SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.